Hello, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are multiplying and dividing decimals. This is something you've done in elementary school, just like combining. Uh, now we add the negatives to it, which for multiplying and dividing is really not a big deal. Okay, so pretty much review. When multiplying decimals, you're going to count the number of digits to the right of the decimals in the problem and then you'll move the decimal in the product to the left that many places. However many digits are to the right of the decimals in the problem, that's how many times you're going to move the decimal left in your product. Okay, pause if you need to write this down and go ahead and play again when you are ready to move on. And I'm trying to get my pen to work not wanting to work right now. There we go. Alright, here's an example for us to do together. 6.72 times negative 5.3. Well, the negative part's really easy. The signs are different, so the answer will be negative. That's all you have to worry about as far as the positive and negative. Now we just have to multiply correctly. Alright, I'm going to rewrite it so that it's vertical and I'm gonna ignore the negative sign for now I just I just don't want it to get in the way I know my answer is gonna be negative I'll just go ahead and put it up in the answer now so I don't forget and then just a normal long multiplication here 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 7 is 21 3 times 6 is 18 and 2 is 20 then next row need the placeholder 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 7 is 35, and 1 is 36, and 30 and 3 gives us 33. We add our two rows, and now we deal with the decimal. Like I said on the last screen, there are three digits, one, two, three digits on the right side of the decimals in the problem. That means we're going to move our decimal left that many places in our product. So we have negative 35.616. Okay. Example 2. Negative times negative is going to be a positive. Uh, you can put a plus sign there if you want to remember that it's positive or since positive numbers don't need the plus sign, you don't have to put anything. Now I'm actually, when I rewrite this, I'm going to put the 3.6 on top. I just like it when the number that has the least number of zeros in it is on top. I think it's easier to multiply that way. 0 0.07. I'm actually going to clean that up a little bit. Now, when you're multiplying, because you're just counting the digits on the right, it's not important that the decimals line up, like it is in combining, and like it's also important in dividing, which we'll get to here soon. Multiplying, though, they don't have to line up. All right, multiply. 7 times 6 is 42. 3 times 7 is 21. And 4 is 25. I'm going to count my digits again. Looks like there are 1, 2, three digits on the right side of the decimals so I'm coming over three times to give me an answer of 0 0.252 and again that's positive because negative times negative is positive let's talk about dividing when you divide decimals you gotta keep them in line vertically and also, like we did when we combined, put it in your answer first. It's going to make things a lot easier, I think. It's also important that you get the right number in the box. It's always top divided by bottom. So 19.2 goes in the box. And 8 is the divisor. Signs are different. Answer is negative. I'll go ahead and put that in the answer now. And I'm done with it. Bring your decimal point up first, 
Keep it in a nice straight line. Does 8 go into 1? No. Does 8 go into 19? Yes, it does. Twice. 2 times 8 is 16. And bring down the 2. 8 goes into 30, 32 4 times. That's nice. 8 times 4 is 32. No remainder. So we're left with a nice and pretty negative 2.4. Again, it's negative because we're dividing and the signs were different. One more division problem together. Negative divided by negative will be positive. And now let's mess with the dividing. 61.47 divided by 3. Bring your decimal up first. 3 goes into 6 twice. And gives us 0. We've got to bring down the 1. But 3 doesn't go into 1. And yes, I'm going to bring down the 4, but I can't skip this 1 spot. It's going to need a, a 0 up there. Now I bring down the 4, and 3 goes into 14 4 times for 12. Oh, that wasn't right, was it? 4 minus 2 is 2. Bring down the 7, and goes in 9 times. Okay, so we have a positive 20.49. Leave the plus sign there, or take it away. You know it doesn't matter with positive numbers. All right, so multiplying and dividing decimals by hand, also paying attention to the positive and negative signs. If you have questions, come ready. We'll see you soon.